Hey Cody, I just wanted to create a quick video to kind of show you how I would make changes to your code so that early on here we can kind of get the layout perfect, the formatting and everything set up so that you've got it going forward um, on your Java Jams and your personal website for this week and probably week's assignments. So as you can see, I have your code pulled up here. I'm using brackets um, and I also have kind of um, different downloads from different students. And what I'm going to see here is it looks to me like you didn't originally put your code into a folder before you zipped it up. So the reason I can tell that is see if I click on like Alex, another one of the students, when I go in there, I get the username personal pages first, and then I see the HTML files. So the first thing I'm going to do is just do that for you. So I'm just right clicking in, even in the zip that I was working with. Um, and that's going to change how this opens up in brackets. So as you're going to see right now, it's like this really crazy long name and that's not what I want. Um, so we're going to right click and say new folder and see hunt 10 underscore personal pages. Okay. And then I can just drag those into there. And now when I open this up, I just right click and say open with brackets and everything that's in that folder will open up. And these two files are kind of linked, right? They're nested together inside of this folder. So what that does is that changes this location in your nav. So when I opened this up originally, I'll show you here, the navigation wasn't working. I should be able to click on those links and go back and forth between your pages. And I kept getting an error because I don't have access to see users, Cody H and your OneDrive, right? What I do have access to though, is just these two pages inside of this folder. So as you can see here now, if I come in here and update this location, actually I can just delete it. And actually, as soon as I start typing, it's gonna start to do an IntelliSense thing because it knows that I'm already in that folder. Ugh, my cursor must be on insert somehow. There we go. So it's like acting goofy. Come on. There we go. So now all I really need in my nav on both pages is this. And if I save that, and I'll take your nav, and I'm going to copy it to your links page also, they should work. So as I run, I just use this little lightning bolt over here to run your code. Now I can check and I can go to the home page. Yep, your title, your name, click here to the links. I see your title change in your H1 and I can go back and forth. So then when you add a third page, what you'll want to do is I usually add it right inside here, right? Wherever your folder is, I might copy one of the other ones paste, create the third page, you'll have a third page in module three, and then make your changes from there. But let's go back to your code. Okay. Um, so I see you've got a head, make sure everything is always indented two spaces inside of any um, like parent elements. So the meta and the title are inside the head. And then you're missing one of your structure elements, everything else goes inside of the body. So I'll put my opening body here, highlight everything, tab, and then come back down and put my closing body. And I didn't, when I didn't have my closing body, see how it's red? So it's a really good signal to me that, hey, something is missing or I forgot to paste that in there. Now, inside of my body, I should have a header, a nav, a main, and a footer. Okay, so let's go up here and we want to add the header structural element and put your biggest heading, your largest heading, your H1 inside of there. Okay. Next, you'll have your nav, then you'll have your main. You don't need a BR here. We can keep it in there. If you like your structure that way, that's fine. And another thing I'm noticing here in your main is you've got a list item, but you don't have what kind of list it is. 
So is this a ordered list as in one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, or is it an unordered list, just bullet points? Okay, so we're gonna add the unordered list. Make sure I get that at the right in two inside of the main, and then all of this goes two inside of the UL. Again, you don't need this BR. I would actually just take both of them out and use CSS when we learn that later to format that. Um, you probably cut and paste the C in here, which is okay, but I want you to learn the proper special encoding types. So here it's actually copy with the ampersand and the colon on the end. And a lot of times in our footer, I don't think I specified this, but you'll want your footer to be smaller and you might also want it to be like italicized. So I'm just going to grab that and stick that inside of there to kind of change up the footer. And if you notice now, I hope you notice how much easier this is to read. At a quick glance, I can highlight your different elements. I can make sure that you've got the starting tag and the closing tag. They line up vertically, okay? And you have every single structural element. So this page right here would be a really excellent one to start with and then go back and format your home page or copy and paste different sections. Because as we come up over here, right, I've got the head, I'm gonna wanna make sure I add a body, a header, I'm gonna wanna indent everything inside of my main over, and then do that same kind of thing with my footer, okay? So use this page as your example to kind of go back then and clean up your index and your home page. Uh, one last comment, these, are great. Well, what they're going to do is I'm going to show you here. I think I forgot to save before I launched it. Is they are currently going to kind of take us away from or outside of our page. If I click on YouTube, it's going to take me to YouTube. Okay. But now the user probably no longer has a link to your personal website and they're like, oh, how do I get back? And if you've navigated now and got, you know, sidetracked in YouTube, you are going to have to go back a long ways. Okay, so instead, if this is kind of a link to an absolute, like somebody else's web page that they own, we want to add an attribute in here. So we've got an href attribute that tells us the location. We also can add a target attribute. And that target is looks a little different, but it's underscore blank. When you do that, I saved my page. I'm going to relaunch it. It's going to open it in a new tab. So now when I click YouTube, see, I still have that link to your original site, but, and they can kind of get deep dive into YouTube, do whatever they want. They can close that and they haven't lost that original site. So you'll want to add that attribute to all of your absolute or your external links. Now, relative links, right? These up here, we don't want that. We, want, we don't want them to open a tab for every page of our site, or maybe we don't. But right now, we kind of want them to navigate around, right, back and forth. Down here, we don't want them to lose our site. So let me know if you have any questions on that.